welcome to something a little new. What's going on guys? I'm Joey Galaxy. Welcome to today's Pokemon Go adventure. Today I thought we'd come somewhere very new to both you and me. This is, as we can see by here, Manahawkin Lake Park. It is in Manahawkin, New Jersey. Why am I here? Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so why, why am I here? What am I doing here? A couple things. Well, I'm in Jersey by myself because I came to go see some family. And you know, I figured, what better time to film a video than right now? Because right now, you guys did not know, is the start of the, not the start, but a couple days in, the Welcome to Alola event, starting off the season of Alola. My student ignore is gonna come up right now. It is the introduction of Generation 7 in Pokemon Go. We got little buggers like this Rowlet right here, which is so crazy to me to see. And again, 835 CP. What's so crazy to me is the fact that Pokemon Go came out when Sun and Moon was coming out. So like the fact that we're already here five and a half years in and Generation 7 is here, it's like insane to me. And this is a really nice park. It's right by Long Beach Island, which I always come with my family for vacation. Well, that's not that good, but that's okay. And I figure we might as well just come explore the park. I'm gonna throw up some lures, hang out here for a while, do some grind sessions. And their goal, the goal of today, for me to be honest, is to evolve some Generation 7 Pokemon. As we can go to, I guess I'll go by Pokedex number, right? That's all. Let's do Pokedex number. Bop, bop, scroll. All right, so that's like some Generation 7, uh, Generation 8 stuff. Right here, starting at around Rowlet, I got a couple of Generation 7 Pokemon to do the starters. We got a Rock Ruff, we got some Piggy Packs, we got some Young Gooses. I would love to evolve all these today with you guys on camera just to introduce the new season of Alola and get some new Pokemon in there. Emolka. And... Yeah, really just have a nice grind session with you and I. When was the last time we've done that? Not a very long time. So yeah, I figured I'd take you guys here, throw up some lures. I guess we'll look at one of the new Pokemon right here, Picky Peck, which is the Generation 7's equivalent to Pidgey. It's the, it's the regional bird Pokemon, and it's great. I have enough rare candy to go around. Not for everybody, but I figured we'd do the grind session as well to get some more candy for everybody. And then from there, be able to do some evolutions. I'd love to get all the starters today if I can. I love all the starters from Generation 7. If we can find an, a raid, a five star raid, I'd love to do that as well. Because along with Generation 7 Pokemon, we have Generation 7 Legendary Pokemon. And one of those being my personal, second paid personal favorite legendary, Tapu Koko. I love Tapu Koko. Speaking of loving Alola Pokemon, go down in the comment section down below and let me know what is your favorite Alola Pokemon. Mine is definitely Tapu Koko, but it's like no questions asked to me when it comes. Oh, your favorite generation seven Tapu Koko. Like no questions asked, no if ends or buts about it. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below who your favorite generation seven Pokemon is, and if you're enjoying the new season of Alola. Looking at the bonuses that they have for this event, first off, there's a battle pass pretty much for the Go Battle League. Get Stardust for all of it. I've been doing it just to grind out some Stardust, and I think I've been getting some pretty good numbers from it. My team for mm -hmm, Ultra League, Great League, isn't that great? But if you look at Season of low these these are insane. Two two di two free raid passes a day. Mm, incense. We'll talk about that later uh, or in another video. Guaranteed gifts, boosted damage for remote raids. It's insane, and I can't believe they actually done done sparse check. No, I can't believe they added all that for this season. It's so great. Uh, the cost of incense, but <laughs> we're gonna go around, throw up some throw out some lures, walk this park, and really just get some shots and hang out with for today and have a nice day. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure a comment section down below what's your favorite Alola Pokemon. Subscribe for more videos like this. We're gonna be doing them more often. And welcome Alola.
so now we're actually hopping into a raid. What raid is it, you may ask? We are hopping into the first generation seven legendary in the game, Top Coco. This thing is so damn cool. I love this Pokemon so much. I hopped in a remote raid thanks to Poke Genie. Shout outs to that. If you're ever looking for remote raids, Poke Genie is the way to go. I always go there for any types of remote raids I need to do. Or I got other servers like the Keyport server that we're in, Staten Island server, you know, the other ones. Any way to get your remote raids in, you can do it. I wanted to do a Tapu Koko raid on video with you guys just to show you guys the first generation 7 legendary. And I love Tapu Koko. I'm going to be doing a couple of these raids by myself because I really, really, really want a hundo. And I caught one the other day. I've done two raids for it so far. I caught one and it wasn't very good. So we're gonna beat this rear real quick. If you guys are raiding Tapu Koko, it's an electric fairy type. Its moves mainly revolve around electric fairy. And I know the other two moves it has Brave Bird and Dazzling Gleam and Quick Attack. So if you're gonna bring, bring your ground types, bring your steel types, Excadrill, Garchomp, Landorus Theory in form, Groudon if you have all those ground types ready. Also really good poison types, Mega Gengar if you have those as well. You're gonna be really good at taking down Tapu Koko. It goes down very relatively quickly with around three to four players. I've done it with three. We are all at level 42 with good counters. So if you have a good squad, you could do it with three, but safer side's probably around four or five. You can get this done right here. This is gonna be six. So this is gonna go down pretty easily. And as soon as we're done with this, we're gonna catch it. All right, that takes down the Tapu Coco. We're gonna see if we're gonna see P it is. 1810, I believe is Hondo. 1770, I don't think that's very good. Which is all right, it's just a matter of catching the Tapu Coco. Shout out to Sean R827 for the raid invite through Poke Genie. Goat, man. 20,000 XP, we brought a raid buddy into the battle. That's the first time I've ever seen that achievement. Here we are in three, two, one with a Tapu Coco. I can't get enough of this design. This is such a good design Pokemon. And the fact that it's here in Pokemon Go finally after so long is crazy to me. Again, Sun and Moon came out in 2016. Pokemon Go came out in 2016. First ball catch. Tapu Coco is actually very easy to hit. So if you could do it that way, it actually is very easy. Tapu Coco in, not the decks, but it's there. 1770, not very good. 1810 is Hundo again. And here we are. Kabut Kabuto check? Randomly, maybe? No. So, all right. So we're going to, GG's there. We caught the Tapu Coco. We're going to do some more walking around here. I lured up some of the park walking around. This is actually something I can show you guys right on camera right here. One of the Pokemon introduced to Alola, an exclusive one. My screen recording is not recording. This is an exclusive Pokemon to Hawaii. Comfey. Comfey is a really rare Pokemon. It's only spawning in Hawaii. It's a pure fairy type. I don't know how strong it is, but Comfey's here. And that's really cool. I guess somebody did not travel to Hawaii. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna keep walking around, catch you guys later. Okay, so I figured while I get in the car for a little bit because I keep emphasizing it is very cold, I figured we'd do some evolutions because we have some Pokemon we can start evolving. And I'd really love to get to these Pokemon today because just to show the season of Alola, let's go through it. So let's start with our first boy here, Rowlet. Actually, no, Cap. Let's start with the easiest one for me because of so, how much I have and the candy I have for it. Poplio. Poplio is the Generation 7 water type starter, and it is very cute. It has two other evolutions, one at 25 candy and the other one at 100 candy. The first evolution it will evolve into is Brion, and then it will evolve into Primarina. I'm going to evolve... The, this one. I'm going to evolve this one. So let's evolve first into the first evolution, Brion. Or so this is Poplio. Hi, Poplio. I've been doing so much candy for all of these. I've been using silver pineapps on like every single one. It's insane. Because I've been wanting to do this evolution with you guys. So here we go. Hitting evolve, yes to that. And here is our first evolution of Poplio into Brion. I, I like Poplio. I'm not too big of a fan of Brion, but I really like Primarina. And there's Brion. That's crazy. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. This is so wild. In the Pokedex, Brion. That's so cool. Look at that. That's awesome. 872 CP and 71 candy for it. So now what we're going to do is show evolutionary lines to get rid of this. 
Let's transfer the rest of them. We're just going to do the evolution on one. I don't mind catching more and transferring the rest. And I have some rare candies that we're going to chug into this thing. So you need 14. Let's get this to 100. 14 candy right off the bat. Boom. We're going to save the other rare candies for the Pokemon. Then we're going to evolve. And we can finally evolve our Brion into Primary. 1495 is actually, I, this wouldn't be good in Great League anyway. But here we go. Brion into Primarina. This Pokemon I really like. I use this a lot in competitive Sword and Shield VGC. And there it is. That's so cool. Look at this in Pokemon Go. That's insane. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. I love that. That's awesome. Absolutely love that. It doesn't do the special hair one. That sucks. Let's see if I can get animation out of it. I think it only does one animation. Yeah, look at that. Waterfall and Boom Blast. That's sick. Next, we're going to go backwards in the evolutions. And next, we're going to have... Not Incineroar. Or can you actually type in Incineroar? Oh, you actually type in Incineroar. It's not Incineroar. It is Litten. And... Hold on. Litten. So this is Litten, the fire-type starter. This is my... One of my favorites. I used... When I first played Sun and Moon, I used Litten. And then when I played Ultra Sun and Moon, I picked Rowlet. And just recently in Legends Arceus, I picked Rowlet as well. We're going to evolve this Litten today into Incineroar. This is evolved into Toracat. It's going to be 1126 CP. We're going to hit yes on there. And here we go. Litten into Toracat. I, unpopular opinion, I love Incineroar. I think it's such a fun Pokemon. Sure, it's broken in VGC. But it's so funny in things like Smash Bros. And just all the Pokemon. And there it is. There's Toracat. This is such a great evolution. It's like the natural progression. I love the little fireball bell, like a collar. It's so cool. Here's Toracat. Oh, look at that. I love that. So we need... 17 candy right now we're going to transfer the rest of these litten which is okay and then pump the rest of it with rare candy 23 so i need to get this to oof i actually might not have enough for rowlet oh that's unfortunate let's see we'll try it out i actually don't know 77 or well, i won't have enough for uh the last evolution if we're going to do the end of the video Rally. All of 50, 25, 75. Let's try it. Hold on. Let's let's get this settled before we do anything. We're going to do this rally because it's three stars. Do this rally. Transfer these. Movie 56, 74. Just enough. Perfect. Cool. All right. So let's do uh, Torah Cat. Evolve this bad boy into it's gonna be too good for Great League. Evolve this bad boy into Incineroar. That's gonna be perfect. Oh, I love Incineroar. I love Incineroar. It's so cool. Ever since I saw Incineroar back in Sun and Moon, I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And there it is. Oh my god, this is so cool seeing this Pokemon go. Oh, this is awesome. I love this. Incineroar in the Pokedex. That is so sick. I love that. Oh, look at it. Snarl and Fire Blast with the moveset. That is awesome. 1997. And finally, last but not least for the starters, go on to Rowlet. Let's evolve this into Dart Tricks. 964 CP. Look at Rowlet evolving. This is so cool. This isn't as special to me because I, I just haven't seen those two Pokemon evolve in a very long time. I just saw Rowlet evolve into a Dart Tricks very recently with Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's still sick to see, though, in Pokemon Go. Dartrix, look at that. The edgy emo hair hanging off the side. Dartrix in the Pokedex. That is so cool. Oh, my God. I love every single minute that's happening right now. And then, oof, actually. Will we have enough? We will have enough. Perfect. Oh, we're going to have enough. Perfect. So we can evolve this right into 1557. is going to exceed Great League. Right into Decidueye. Oh man, I love Decidueye. I used Decidueye at Pokemon Tournament for anyone who still would play that game, and I played it when it came out and everything. Here is Decidueye. This is so cool. Oh my god, look at this. Oh man, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Look at this 1557 CP. Decidueye in Pokemon Go. That's insane. That's actually insane. I love this. Wow. I love every second of that. That was awesome. So we're going to do some more evolutions later on. We have stuff like Young Goose and Picky Peck to evolve. And we're going to go from there. Or... Now, we'll do this in a little bit. I'm going to walk out, walk a little more. I am going to check on something for you guys as well. Wow, it's going to be a while. So we're waiting to do one raid. 
for one Pokemon in particular, just to show you that it is in the game. We got a lot of experience from that, which is great. And yeah, I'm so happy we got the Alola starters of Pokemon Go. Sick, I love every minute of this. Let's go, Alola is here, ladies and gentlemen, and it's not stopping the hype any time soon. Let's go. All right, so I figured a change of scenery would be nice instead of the car. We're gonna do the next two evolutions that I wanted to do today. We have two Pokemon that are very common in the Alola region. I figured it'd be good to do them as well. Nothing else is popping up on here, so let's get our first culprit. Young, young Goose. I actually don't even know which one's really good. I know I had a good one somewhere. I thought I did. I might have just missed it. Here it is, all right, so we'll do this one. This is Young Goose. It has to be evolved during the day with 50 candy, and we're going to get our very own Gumshoes, and this Gumshoes is Looks like a peculiar person in history, and if you can't tell, then do some research. It's definitely out there in the world right now. This is Young Goose right here, and Young Goose, I'm sorry, not Young Goose, Gumshoes, and Gumshoes <laughs> is in the Pokedex. <laughs> and we got... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Gumshoes in the Pokedex right here, 917 CP. I highly doubt Gumshoes is any good. And finally, we're going to do our last one of the day. I'm going to do, try my hardest to get one other one for you guys. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. We have, oh, I actually don't think I'm going to be able to do this either. Oh, shoot. I actually just realized that because I don't have very candy. Oh, man. Maybe I can try to grind this out for a little bit. Maybe I can try to grind this out real quick. I'm going to try to get the last bit of candy to do the Picky Peck evolution. And from there, I'll end the video doing the Picky Peck evolution into two cannon. Oh, I'm sorry about that. So we'll do that in a second. Don't worry. I will get it today. Actually, I'll just complete, by the way. Oh, actually, I guess I'll do that on video. There is a collection challenge that you can complete, which we just did right there. Collection challenge. Before. I actually get some good rewards for it. You get 7,000 XP, 15 Ultra Balls. Do I have my ex lucky egg down? I do. So let's get the 14,000 experience and 15 Pokeball and 15 great Ultra Balls. That's actually a really good collection challenge. It's very easy, and you get really nice items from it. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna try to finish this Picky Peck evolution. Another Pokemon I really couldn't do, I'll show you guys at Rock Ruff. I don't think I could do any more Rock Ruff raids. I didn't realize how freaking hard it was to get into a Rock Ruff raid. I used Poke Genie for my raids. The queue is 30,000 people doing Rock Ruff raids. I'm like, what? Which I didn't think, I thought it'd be quick, but I guess they're not going too quickly. One star raids, I guess, aren't common for it. One star raids have like a bigger pool. So like, you're not guaranteed to rock or afraid from a one star raid. So I'll try to grind this out last bit of time before we can do it. If not, I'll come back, leave the video to show you guys our progress of the day, evolving the new starters and catching top of Coco, which I think was still a really successful grind for today. Catch you guys in a little bit. Sorry, it's the processing thoughts. Yeah, I think this was a good grind session overall though. We're gonna try to finish it with two cannon and we'll go from there. Catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm running to the car for something insanely big. We have to go, I have to drive right now. Oh my God, if we get this, this will be insane. This will be the best way to end the video. I'll catch you guys in a second. Oh my God, we need to get this. First, there's a picky peck here. Second, oh my God, there's a Jangma. Oh, oh I, I literally drove across the fucking highway to get this Pokemon. I was literally saying to myself, oh, I've sucked if we couldn't get the last real good Pokemon for this event, Changba 03. Oh my god, we got it! Oh, this is better than any fucking Rock Ruff. Oh my god. Yo, look at this! Changba in the Pokedex! Oh, is it good? It's not. Oh! And it's another Picky Peck. Oh! Oh my god! That was insane! That was insane! I saw it pop up, and I was like, I'm not gonna make it. Oh my god! We actually got it! We actually got it, let's go! Oh my god, that was insane! Oh, I got chills! Oh, that's how we're gonna be the end of the video right there. I'm making that my buddy, and that's how we're ending the video right there. Can Jangmo be in 10 kilometer eggs now? It can, it's the rarest spawn. Oh my god! Alright, sorry. Guard trap, I'm sorry. 
Jangbo is the new buddy. Oh my god. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, thank goodness. We're done. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what is your favorite Alola Pokemon. Again, mine is Tapu Koko. Let me know what yours is down in the comment section down below. I'm going to head on home, edit this video down, and post it to use you for you guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all the regular stuff. I'll catch you guys soon for another Pokemon Go video. Catch you guys on the flip side. Bye bye